Hi Trevor, um, so this is just a quick video just to show you around the system that I use which is called Bramble. Um, this is a customer I work with who has a blog section, so similar to what you're trying to achieve with the town council. Um, it will just show you if you had some news items or a blog post to do, it will show you basically how to deal with that. After that I'll just quickly show you around Bramble um, just so you get an idea of how the system works. And so the first thing we're going to do is this customer has a blog section. Um, we've already got some blogs set up. They've only just done two because they've just started. Um, but what I'm going to show you is how to make a new blog post um, and how to deal with that. So what we do is we go to their previous blog post. So we'll just take this one. Um, and then the format then is already kept. We've got the title, the images and the text in place. So what we basically do is duplicate this page and that'll make a complete copy of everything on this page. So you click duplicate um, and that basically does a complete copy of that page keeping all the format um, so that it matches the other blog posts. Then you give the page a new name. So let's just call this one test blog um, July. Um, and then you just hit the little padlock. So we've now saved that page as test blog July. So we've basically got a copy of this blog post. We're now gonna adapt that with the new information. So we would put our title in. So this is an old blog post about wasps because this is a pest control company. You put your title in, whatever that was about. Um, you change the photograph. So to do that, you click one. It highlights the green box. You click change image. I've got some images prepared for their next blog post. So you just drag them across, drag them across and the same for the third one. That's then updated those. So we could then go back and change this title to rabbits. We've got the photographs. You then come to the text. You can just delete all of that. And if you've got a Word file or, or new text, you can paste that straight in, um, whatever that said, as long as you need to. Um, and again, we've kept all the format. That's the beauty of sort of copying it. It's not gonna look different to all the other blog posts. It will have the same format with the title, the three images and the text and all the calls to action and the maps and all the information on the rest of the page stays the same. And so that's a useful um, thing to have rather than having to start with a blank page and having to format and design every page. You can duplicate old ones, copy the content across. Um, so that's just a quick overview of that. You would then publish and then that's done. That page is then saved and it's ready to go. He has a blog menu where we're going to stack all the different blogs together. Um, so he's already done, I've already done the rabbits one for him, but to show you if we wanted to drop one next to it, we would duplicate that. So that's now got three blog posts. Um, again, we would copy our image. So we'll put in that one. Um, and then we would put, perhaps if this was next month, it was, if it was August, we would put in the date and then we would link the post up by telling it to go to the correct page we just made which will be at the bottom so that's that test blog we just made we'd save that and that would then be done we then publish that and then we're basically basically we've updated the blog menu which links to that blog post um, and that's really it so if you had a whole load of town council um, information about events and things happening that's how you would deal with them you'd have a main sort of blog section where every relevant post had just an image and a quick overview of what it was and the date. And then the actual click each one would then take you to each blog page and blog section. So I hope that sort of makes sense. You might need to watch the video back um, if it doesn't, um, but I just wanted to show you that. We're gonna leave that page because I don't wanna do any damage to that. Um, the other thing to quickly show you is Bramble, very different to WordPress, works very visually. Um, so things like this might look a bit confusing because it stacks sliders on top of each other and on the website itself obviously it scrolls between those images so you get some strange things happening in terms of layout but anything you want to you get used to it after a while to be honest um, anything you want to change you just click the boxes they highlight you would then go through um, make any alterations changing phone numbers swapping out images you've got the change image facility changing lists um, it's done in a much more visual way so you're editing the site live and you're just going to each section um, and making alterations as you need to and then you have a main area here with all this guy has got a lot of pages on his website it goes on and on so that goes to show 
this is no problem at all in, in Bramble dealing with sites for things like councils that go to 50, 60 pages or more. It's a completely fine. It's more than capable of handling that. It just does it in a very different way. It's not a blog platform like WordPress. It's very much a web design piece of software. Um, it's quite easy to use, which is why I use it. My customers can manage and control their own sites um, and it's done in a visual way that's not too confusing for them to do. So for example, if you had an update on the bird control page, he could just go across to that page, um, click the relevant boxes and then alter anything that he wanted to, swap out a photograph, um, he'd be in complete control of the site. So that's partly why I use it. But it is obviously not a piece of blogging software, so if you wanted to do thousands of blog posts, it's not really the piece of software that you would use for that. But for something like the Town Council website, it's, it's more than adequate of coping um, with that amount of content and information. So yeah, I hope that helps. Any other questions, just give me a shout. Thanks for watching.